Welcome to our small cabin guys. So I just want to do a quick video on composting toilets. So here it is it's closed up. It's all cast concrete. We poured it at home in our workshop and carried it up here. It's probably about 150 pounds maybe. So it's all been sanitized. So don't worry about no gloves. It's your standard toilet seat. So the next layer down is the uh, urine separator. And we custom made that ourselves out of some sheet ABS from Amazon. So then inside, There's a five gallon pail. Had to trim the uh, these little ribs off this side just to make it fit down in there. So the concrete box itself is really overkill. You could make that out of plywood or anything you had at hand. I'm a concrete guy for a living, so I decided to go with concrete. I like the look of it, but it was really complicated. I don't recommend going with concrete if you don't have much experience with that. But uh, the real magic is what happens down inside and I'll give you a peek of that. So it's all made with off the shelf ABS parts. So it's the main pipe you see down there is uh, just inch and a half ABS. And the flange on top was just a four inch to inch and a half reducer. And I just heated it up with a heat gun and shaped it into the shape I wanted. So this part here is really the most crucial part. It's a urine separator. So it, you see it better, there's no pail in there obviously, but that funnel shape of this fits down into the top of that flange. I'll try to keep it light on here so it just locks in, just gotta drop it. Fits right into place, doesn't, doesn't move around at all. So the only downside of these toilets for the guys is you have to sit to pee, there's, there's no way around it. You don't want your urine mixed in with your, your number twos in the pail. So you had to pee to the front and uh, you can see how that kind of kind of works there. And so the urine goes out through the pipe and out to a dry well outside. And there's no no traps in any of the plumbing because the cabin's unheated 90% of the time, so you can have no sitting water. So when you're done peeing, you always have like a water bottle and with a little bit of cleaner and just pour there, just kind of rinse it out. Okay, so we've covered P, let's talk about number two. You do, you do, throw your toilet paper in, and then right here, we have a pail of uh, sawdust from our wood shop, and just pour a little bit on top, and that just hides it for the next person. So, so originally, what was gonna happen, so you just went straight into the pail, no liners or anything, and then when it started to get full, bring it upside and dump it into a compost type bin. I didn't really like that idea, so let me show you the solution. So these are called double duty bags. That's the uh, the brand name. Here in Canada, we buy them at Canadian Tire. They're really heavy duty, so they're a double line bag, like a heavy duty black garbage bag on the inside, then a really heavy duty Ziploc bag on the outside, and they're fastened together in the bottom. Inside they have, can't really show you, but downside they have a little bit of powder that absorbs moisture. So they're made to go in a five gallon pail. So just put it in your pail. Drop the whole thing down inside. Put that on, on top. And you're good to go. And so we're only up here usually on weekends, but you'll get three or four weekends out of a bag, no problem, with just two two people. So another key component is this vent stack. It goes up through the ceiling here in the bathroom, then up through the actual roof of the cabin. Probably goes about four or five feet higher than the roof. And so it gets quite a draw 
with a little bit of a breeze blowing across the top of it. So the number one question everybody's concerned about is, is there any smell? And the answer is absolutely no, zero smell. So we'll use it for uh, two or three weekends at least, probably most times without having to change the bag. And uh, I'll give you a little perspective here. There's our toilet. There's our kitchen area. And I was I was worried sick about it. I didn't know how it was going to work. I had zero experience with these toilets. Just took a gamble on it, and it couldn't couldn't be better. Zero smell. Your bag is at its limit. So you just do reverse. Pop this off. And I'll actually leave the bucket in there. I'll fold the edge of the bag in. It kind of rolls in on itself, and you you can. Uh, it's very sanitary. It sounds worse than it is. The silver bag, the outer bag, just pulls right up over it and zip ties it up, or sorry, uh, zip locks up, and it's very secure. Then we just take it home, throw it in the dumpster. I should mention that you could very well use this without the bag, just go directly in the pail, and then just bring it outside and dump it in some sort of a composting container and bury it with topsoil or whatever. That would work just as well. You would have to clean up the bucket now and again, I'm assuming. I just didn't really like that. Personally, I'd rather put it in the bag and take it out and take it home with us. And uh, another option is burn it as well. I have done that, I've done it both, both ways. You are burning the plastic bag, but if you're bringing it home, you're putting it in the dumpster and the bag is going in the landfill anyway. So it's kind of six of one, half a dozen of the other. And so e either one is a viable option. So in conclusion, I'm extremely glad we didn't go with one of the big name brand toilets. Uh, they're just so expensive for what you're getting. Basically, at the end of the day, they're all doing the same thing. If you're building your own, just remember the key is separate your, your urine and your number two and have a good vent stack outside. That's all you have to worry about. They work really well. I highly recommend composting toilets. Hope you found this useful. And there's lots of other cabin videos if you want to check them out. Thanks for watching.